So this is by far the most useful attachment I've ever got for my mini skid steer. Runs off the existing auxiliary hydraulics, works like a charm, splits wood really well. Here's the kicker, nobody makes this. I end up modifying existing log splitter I had. So I think you're gonna like the video. And for the company that knocks this idea off in about a year, I want you to include me in on it. Send me a product at least so I can see what you guys end up doing with it. So I started off with a Champion 7-ton log splitter. This is by far the most affordable gas-powered log splitter I could find on the market. I have a review of what I think about the log splitter on my secondary channel called NW Outpost. Link below to that video. A uh, reason why I did not build it from scratch. I can hear you guys already. Why don't you build it from scratch? Because... I built a log splitter from scratch. And when I built a log splitter from scratch about eight years ago, I realized you cannot buy all these components for as cheap as corporations can buy this stuff. So with that being said and design work and all that stuff, I could not buy these components for cheaper than this log splitter cost. At the time of making the video, the whole entire gas powered log splitter was $600 order on Amazon. It's still available. I'll put a link below to that. Anyhow, enjoy the video and keep in mind, this is for entertainment purposes only. Enjoy. So starting off, I did not want to get the biggest, baddest log splitter out there on the market. You know, everyone wants the bigger, the more powerful. I wanted the smallest log splitter I could find for a few reasons. One of the main reasons, I wanted one with a smaller bore. This is a seven ton, it's got a three inch diameter cylinder. The bigger the cylinder bore, the more power you're gonna have, but the more hydraulic flow you're gonna need. This thing had about a three gallon per minute pump on it stock. My skid steer, I think, puts out maybe six gallons per minute stock. So I wanted something that didn't have a ridiculously slow cycle time with the pump that I have. I tried my original log splitter with my uh, pump on my skid steer and it ran slower than the two stage pump I had on it. So that's why I bought this one because I wanted something that was light and had a fairly quick stroke time for the gallons per minute I was working with on my skid steer. So I started off with one of these uh, quick hitch plates. They all fit like garbage. I've never found one that fits this machine very good. I think they're just really general. So cut out some uh, shims on my CNC. Now I'm freehand cutting some stuff to make sure that that fits and clears the uh, quick hitch handles. We're going through welding those shims in place so it will fit better. Cutting off some one foot pieces of square tubing. This is two inch. This is gonna be what kind of shims the machine, the log splitter off that quick hitch. We're all gonna brush over this build on it because it's pretty self-explanatory. I did it one evening after I got home from camping. So it was pretty simple. I had some hydraulic parts and pieces that took me a little more time to figure out. But I found in the last videos, all the stuff I've done build videos wise in the last year or two, most of my subscribers aren't interested in watching that stuff anymore and they just brush over it and don't watch it all together. So I'm just gonna brush over this, get to actually using the thing. If you're interested in anything more in details, just buy me a coffee, ask me the question. If you wanna know some more about hydraulic fittings and stuff, I'll answer them there. But honestly, you guys aren't watching much of it anymore. So let's get to actually running this thing. Well, I feel like I kind of lucked out there. I dug through my scrap sheet metal that I had sitting behind my lathe, found this piece, and then found this piece. and. It's just about perfect width here. There'll be a little bit of a sorting spot. You can kind of split some stuff and set it behind here. So my other DIY log splitter I built from scratch, I actually had a really big sorting table at the end. It's really handy if you split a really large log round, you can put half of it to the side, split through the other half, and then get to the other pieces. So all that kind of stuff is pretty useful to have somewhere to set some stuff. And right here, I'm just hooking up some hydraulic fittings. Honestly, I wish I would have bought slightly longer hydraulic hoses for this thing. Because if you did not pay attention and curled forward, you probably put some strain on the lines. But I don't want to spend another $80 on hydraulic hoses. So I'm just going to be smart about it. So I just welded on like a $20 tow hitch receiver I got from Harbor Freight. This is one of the last things I want to do with this. Uh, maybe a few more improvements down the road. But biggest thing with this is I can put on a two inch receiver d-ring like this for towing logs out of the woods or raising a log up off the ground so i can cut it into firewood you can also put in a uh, ball on here trailer ball i could maybe side pivot a trailer here split firewood throw it on a trailer use the skids here to tow the trailer around and also use it to park my boat trailer if i need to uh, another good thing is if i do want to do a sorting table out in front here like i have on the back i can set it on a two inch piece of receiver material and slide it in pin it have a sorting table and when I'm done I can take it off so 
It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife connection right here. So I think it's going to be a good improvement. All right, let's get uh, splitting with this thing and try it out. So the plan of attack with this machine before I even ordered the log splitter to build this, what I wanted to get out of it was I did not want another engine to maintain. I got enough of them around here. You can actually hear this runs on a pretty low RPM and it splits well. So I did not want another engine maintained. I want to run off the auxiliary hydraulics. I want it to be electric start so my wife could hop out there with the machine hooked up, ready to go. She could just turn the key, start it up and run it. Another cool thing is you could lower it down, load on the big log rounds without lifting them much because it's height adjustable. So I could quarter them or half the log rounds then I could raise the whole machine or the whole splitter up so it's more comfortable uh, cutting height. Uh, I wanted it to be extremely portable and versatile. So my other log splitter is not very portable. It is trailerable, it's not street legal. So if you want to uh, do something around the property, yeah, you can tow it around with a quad. If you want to take it to a friend's house, it's really hard. You gotta load it on a trailer or in the back of your truck. This thing is simple, man. You just roll out of the bucket with the quick hitch, roll onto this, hook it up, and you're ready to go. If you want to put it on a trailer, it's simple. So uh, yeah, that's the plan with this thing. I want to make life simpler not more complex. I'm getting older. Firewood is a thing that I always do every year for myself and for friends, so splitting firewood. Just trying to make my life simpler and removing carburetors from my life and keeping the few that I have constantly running with ethanol free is a way to keep your life simpler. Now, this is a chunk of cherry. It's extremely hard to split by hand. You see it's been dry for about a year. The bark is so gnarly, no, even if you get it split with the splitting wall, you still have to cut the bark with the chainsaw to get it to open up. So let's see how this goes. That's my new favorite skid steer attachment and splitter. Uh, I think that I'm gonna use this far more than the homemade one I built, just cause the homemade one was so heavy, it was stationary until you towed it with a quad. Got a decent amount of wood split in just 10, 15 minutes. Sheared through some pretty big knots too on here. Let's see if we can, that's a pretty solid knot right there. That's probably two inches by inch and a half. No problem, sheared right through that. This is all seasoned cherry, pop right through that. And look at this, this is a weird twisted up one with tons of branches in it, sheared right through all the funky knots. This is stuff you just wouldn't even bother trying to split by hand just because you're just fighting it so much. Look at that one, it's a big branch. You usually would not get through that with the splitting mall. Just sheared right through it. And that is only the seven ton. I already mentioned why I chose this one for this application. It was the ram size. I already mentioned why I didn't want to build one from scratch. That worked really well. And not only that, this is uh, oil cool. It's got an oil cooler in here. Uh, pretty good capacity hydraulics on here and should never overheat. That engine is basically barely above idle, maybe 1800 to 2000 RPMs. Not terribly loud at all. 13 horse pushing this thing, but just above idle. And that worked awesome. So I want it to be known, I'm not the first guy to hook a hydraulic log splitter to a machine, but I haven't seen this configuration yet on the internet anywhere. I've seen this style where they sit out in front of a much larger machines. And I tell you what, yeah, 
You might be able to sit in the cab all day and split logs, but it sure looks awkward if you see any of those machines actually running. Seems like there's a simpler way to do it. I don't mind getting out doing some work. I don't mind moving the logs around by hand. Seems a heck of a lot easier than manipulating the whole skid steer just to pick up one log round and crack it once. I'd rather just run it off the hydraulics like this, utilize the electric start, have a sorting table that's adjustable and easy for portability. Tell you what, look up those other machines. You'll see how awkward they really are. Till next time, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.